Okay, so you've got a jumper T light and you've just installed an Express LRS module on it. And now you need to get it set up and working. That's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna go through all the steps to configure this in OpenTX, get the Lua script on it, get you bound up and ready to fly. I'm Darren and welcome to Everything Micro FPV where we cover whoops and everything up to 250 grams. And the jumper T light is the perfect radio for anything sub 250. Going to head into Express LRS Configurator. So what we want to do is, is we want to scroll down to Happy Model, 2.4 gigahertz. Now we've got the ES24TX via UART or the ES24 via Wi-Fi. We're going to select ES24200TX by Wi-Fi. Select all of our Express LRS options that we want. Make sure you set your binding phrase. Binding phrase is like your Wi-Fi password to bind everything together. Now, we're not gonna hit build and flash, we're just gonna hit build, and that's gonna to connect to the GitHub, compile all of the ExpressLRS software, build your settings in, and it's gonna produce a firmware file. Perfect, so we've got this firmware.bin file, that's the one we're gonna drag. Um, Instead of move to desktop, if you hold down the control button, it says copy to desktop. I've already got one there. We're going to hit replace file in destination. Um, and we're going to come back to that file later on when we need the configurator. Okay, so the first thing we're going to need to do is head over to opentx.org. And we're going to have to download the OpenTX companion, but we're going to download one of the nightlies. So we're not actually going to go for 2.3.11. We're going to go to OpenTX Downloads, head over to the nightly builds, and we're going to go Windows Nightly Build. And whilst we do that, we're going to hit, we're going to right-click and go SD Contents for Nightly Build. Open that in a new tab. Windows Nightly Builds in this screen over here. We're going to download the most recent one, being the 9th of June. That's going to download. We're going to head over to SD card contents and you can see from here uh, we've got T light. Uh, that's the jumper T light. We're going to click on that. And then again, we're going to download the most recent SD card contents. We are going to need them later. So we're going to click on OpenTX companion. Windows needs to protect your PC. More info and run anyway. I agree. Next, next, next. All users install and wait for the magic to happen now you're going to need a USB-C cable uh, to plug in your radio so we're going to do that click next click finish and leave that as run open TX companion Now in order to turn on the now in order to turn on the jumper T light we need to press down the two trim center buttons together whilst power it on, press the on button and that puts it in to bootloader mode. From here, this is where we plug in the USB C cable. Once the two windows open, keep those uh, keep the USB drive open uh, because that's where we're going to copy the SD card contents. Now if you don't have a micro USB reader, uh, you can do it through the radio, it's just incredibly slow. So if you are gonna copy the SD card contents across uh, using the radio, that's gonna take ages. So I would recommend grabbing a, US, uh, a micro SD card reader, plugging that in, it'll happen a lot quicker. From here, we're gonna go settings, radio profiles, and we're gonna go add radio profile. Profile name, you're gonna call that jumper T light. And in the radio type, you're gonna select not X light, scroll all the way down to jumper T light. And from here, application settings, this is the most important part. Um, you wanna, you can do releases, or you can do release candidates, or you can do nightly builds. Um, I'm running nightlies, I find that works. So we're gonna, so when we do the release channel, we're gonna change that to nightly builds. And then we're going to hit OK. Express LRS. I'll just quickly show you what's in my um, 
beta flight model setup. So basically all your usual, all your usual things as well. Um, what you want to do is turn your internal radio protocol off. Don't have that as the DOI multi-protocol mod module. External radio module, because we've got the Express LRS module on the back, we want to set this to TBS Crossfire, and this is because it uses the Crossfire protocol to connect. Um, there's a whole bunch of other things, as you can see, you've got things like Ghost as well, um, if you were running that. Um, if you've got Ghost hardware that you've flashed Express LRS on, uh, I do, um, you still need to select TBS Crossfire, uh, start channel one, receiver number zero and 16 channels. Flight modes, um, you don't need to do anything there. They're mainly for um, wings and helis. Inputs, so for me, I've basically just got my four inputs there and my mixers, that's where I've got all my different channels. Now, aux one, this is a very important point for Express LRS. Aux one, which is my SC switch, it's my very back um, switch. That is your arm um, switch. So aux one on Express LRS always needs to be the arm one. So don't put arm on anything else. The reason for that is every packet um, that is sent over the air contains these four um, stick positions in each packet and it also includes whether the quad is armed or disarmed. Every, uh, I think it's every second or so on packet or you know at a different interval is the rest of the channels sent. So you always want to have your arming on aux one. Outputs, don't need to touch that, same with your curves, your logical switches and your special functions. Um, telemetry, you can do that inside your inside your radio where you um, where you identify the telemetry. Just leave that as default. Low and critical is fine, and you're pretty much good to go from there. Then we go file, download. I'm gonna go check for updates. Download firmware. Nope. And. Open TX, T Light Lua, EN doesn't. Version 2.3.12 is available. Do you want to download it now? You can click the release notes if you really want to release it. Nothing found was. Yep, you want to download that now. You're going to save that to. From here, we're going to go right firmware to radio. We're going to select the firmware we've just downloaded and click OK. You can see we've got all of that. We can then you hit right to TX. That's going to flash the firmware contents. Flashing done and then hit close. Then you can um, you can do one of two things. You can go back into File Explorer and in the USB drive, which is the micro SD card on the radio. From here, you can copy over all the SD card contents if you'd like. Um, that'll take ages, so I'm not going to do that. I did that previously when I updated it. But what we are going to do now is um, get the latest Express LRS um, Lua script which is really, really important to making this whole thing work. Now, if you go into the USB drive, this is your SD card on your controller, go into scripts, and then in tools. Now, I've already got it there, but you'll notice um, the default folder for tools will have a whole bunch of FR Sky and Grapner stuff as well. I just created a folder called um, FR Sky um, I also created a folder called Crossfire because I don't fly Crossfire anymore. And then I've just popped the Lua script for those in there. Now I'm going to just delete the existing Express LRS Lua script that's there um, because that's an old one. We're going to head over to the Express LRS wiki. So you can Google that. It'll be the wiki on the GitHub. And you can see that's correct because it's got Alessandro Express LRS wiki, wiki GitHub. And then you'll notice on the right hand side we've got Wi-Fi updating 
that's something you want to look at. Lua script, and then you can see faster access, save the Lua script. Now this is a raw file, so we want to right click, save link as, and that's going to um, save to our downloads folder. But what we can do is we can go, if you're using Windows, into scripts, into tools, and that's going to save it directly where we need. So we hit save. It's only a few kilobytes, so that's not actually going to be an issue. What we're now going to do is we're now going to go in, hold down the system button, go into that Express LRS Lua, and you'll see we've got the Wi Fi update. So we're going to hit Wi Fi update, and then from there, we're going to head over into our Wi Fi settings. And then you've got Express LRS TX module, we're going to hit connect. The Wi Fi code is Express LRS, and that is then automatically going to direct us to the Express LRS page. You're going to hit choose file, go to your desktop, you've got firmware.bin, hit open, and then click the update button, and that's going to flash your Express LRS firmware file directly to your controller. And that's doing it all over Wi Fi. We know that's worked because I've got the little OK. Just change that to the USB port that you're going to use and hit connect. So you want to go into the ports tab and select Serial RX for the UART that you've wired your Happy Model PPRX or your Express RS um, receiver to. Hit save and reboot. And then hit to the configuration tab. You want to change the serial receiver to CRSF. Crossfire, again, hit save and reboot. Um, hit disconnect. You can make note of the COM port that you're connected under, COM5. Close beta flight. We've got that updated. We're going to head into Express LRS Configurator. Now I've got a quad here. Um, then from here, we're going to select our device target. So I'm using the Happy Model. Um, PPRX, so I'm just going to search for PP. And the best part is I've got the Happy Model 2.4 GHz PPRX. We're going to set that up with the same device options as you would. And then in this manual serial selection, that's where you can hit COM5. Make sure all your options are the same as when you built and flashed your receiver module. You're going to hit build and flash. That's going to connect to the internet, it's going to pull the files from GitHub, and that's all going to connect. And we can tell that's worked because you can see telemetry recovered, and that's all connected up and that's bound. So that just makes that really, really easy to do. And that's how you configure the jumper T-Lite and get that going. And that's the complete setup on the jumper T-Lite from start to finish, as well as flashing a receiver. This is everything micro FPV, and please do me a big favor if this has been of value to you. Smash the like button, hit subscribe, and please leave in the comment section, tell me what you're flying with Express LRS.